Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Well, right now I'm trying to further develop my compound. So nothing important? Well, I mean, I've been working on it for at least two months or so. Good, the weather's nice, so uh, meet me at the park in 15 minutes. Why would I even want... Hey, there you are. So, what was the rush about coming to the park? Nothing, I just thought it was a good day to hang out. I agree. Are you really still working on those equations? Oh, yeah, I mean, they're actually important. How could math be that important? We're at a park, not at school. You really think math is not important? Absolutely, it's just numbers. Come here. What do you notice about this fountain? It's wet. And cold. Is that it? Pretty much. There's not much to see. Let me show you how I see the world. When you take the time to observe, what used to be chaos and seemingly unorganized is now literally beauty in motion. These streams of water are now displays of how surface tension and viscosity work together to produce amazing arches of fluid. These same laws determine how this water interacts as it coalesces with itself, making the sound that you're hearing now. Even while you and I were playing billiards last week, I managed to do so well because I understood and appreciated the interplaying laws of physics and trigonometry. Pool balls are nothing more than points on a two-dimensional plane. Perfect balance for a free body diagram. The McDonald's down the street even relies on math. You want it to be cheap, right? Financial and economic statistics allow for them to sell food for less money while still bringing in profit. Stoplights are programmed with math to keep you safe from accidents. Police rely on the Doppler effect to ensure people aren't speeding. Your employer needs math to make sure that you get paid at the end of every week. Even the cell phone you called me with uses math. The glasses you're wearing to correct your vision was designed using math. It all relies on math, physics, and numbers. So, you see, math just isn't something you learn in school. It's not just something that mathematicians and scientists use. It literally is the language of nature and the universe. You just have to learn how to speak it. So, what exactly are you working on? Well, if you're interested, imagine you have an object that's in projectile motion, and if you can imagine a secondary, smaller object that impacts the first projectile at the apex of the projectile.